advocate in television, you know, he's very, very difficult at the very best of times. But can you imagine now working for the British TV channel ITV and all their stars have been told, do this and you're fired. Exactly. What are we talking about? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. Thank you so much as ever for joining me today. Nice to have your company. Yes, we can struggle with a wave, can't we? Somebody said to me the other day, actually, I have to tell you a funny story. I work for various different channels, you know, around the world. And they sent me one of those microphone sponges, you know, uh, that you, you know, you hold up to camera like this with a sponge on. And they said, oh, could you now hold the microphone and make sure that you get the logo in of our channel when you're doing your reports? And I very tactfully had to point out, because English isn't their first language, that actually it's a bit difficult. You know, I'm holding, <laughs> I'm holding the stick, I'm recording it, I'm finding the location, and I'm a little bit worried in case, you know, say with a windy day or something, uh, that it may start to blow around. They didn't quite get it. I just abandoned it. You know what I mean? I know. I, yes, way too much demands, don't you think? Don't they realise I'm a major star looking out there? <laughs> Don't let them know. It will keep it between you and I. Absolutely. Back as ever to your breaking story of the day. This story, as I say, you know, just keeps rolling and rolling. And particularly if you are working for that major brand ITV right now, because, you know, they always like to put themselves over this warm, friendly daytime ensemble. You know, we're all chums here. Um, you know, everything from Susanna Reid, Lorraine Kelly, Ranveer Singh. Remember Ranveer Singh? She thought the Queen did nothing all day you know but very quickly dashed down there to be outside for the coronation oh yes the chance of being on camera next to some celebrities was a big lure of course for Ranveer and of course if you look behind other areas of ITV you can see just how unfriendly it really is you know they get rid of people like the breakfast TV show host Piers Morgan no response to that and then let's not forget Jeremy Cull very successful for years binned you know overnight <laughs> no recourse there what is interesting now though is if you work for ITV pin back your lug holes because this is the big problem now engulfing this alleged family yes everybody has a say from Lorraine Andy Peters Adol Ray Charlotte Hawkins you are not allowed to speak about this morning the brand you're not allowed to speak about Philip Schofield the host of over 20 years uh, in any shape or form if you do it will be termination Yes, from a very high order, let me tell you. This is because ITV are trying to stop the engulfingness of what's really happened with that particular brand. And they feel, of course, that reporters will get the opportunity, say at the red carpets for NTAs, uh, the award shows, that sort of stuff, to ask what's it like now. Now Philip's gone. What were your memories of him? Did you know? That sort of thing. So basically... If you're watching this, and I know many of you do, even though you claim you don't, the bottom line is, when you do notice this, just don't speak about him. Ah, unless, of course, you too want to be fired by the warm and friendly, fuzzy ITV brand. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.